What's going on guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day and I just want to announce the winner of the Turtle Beach giveaway. I know I've been saying it. It's going to be right here on the screen right now. Dude, you have 48 hours to respond to this. If you don't, I'm going to pick a brand new winner. I'm also going to be doing another giveaway since this is a fitness video and I haven't done one in a while. Gymshark hooked me up with so much swag. I have a little bit of extra. These are a size small. These are cut off shirts from Gymshark. These are really nice. I actually have these exact shirts and I wear them, but I have two extra ones. So I got one in blue and I got one in purple. So I'm going to have two winners if you guys just subscribe to the channel you know leave a nice comment drop a like on the video you guys already know what to do basically just subscribe like and comment on the video and you guys will have a chance to win I'll do this for another week and if I keep on having new stuff to give to you guys I'm gonna keep on giving it away because I'd much rather have it in one of your guys's hand one of my supporters hands than in my house literally collecting dust that's the way I see it and I always love giving back to you guys thank you for all the support let's get right into this back workout Alrighty guys, so it's been a really long time since I made one of these videos. Honestly, I love doing these fitness videos and you guys keep asking for the fitness videos. So like I said, if you guys want to keep seeing them, just let me know in the comments down below of what you guys want to see next. I thought I wanted to do a back one. I was really excited to hit my back today. And if you guys don't know, if you guys are new to the channel, I like to do this before any workout that I do, unless if I'm doing cardio, I like to do three sets of the bar. And by the bar, I mean doing pull-ups, push-ups, and dips. So that's what I'm doing right now. I just want to give a big shout out to my training partners from A3 Workout, Chris, Maurice, and Shane. This is their routine. I was going through it today. Most of the time, we do a very standard back workout. Today, it was a little bit more crazy, as you guys are going to see in this next clip. So if you can't get pull-ups, just try to do some push-ups or just something to get your blood flowing. We've been working out for four or five years now, so this is what we like to do. And as you guys can see from my form, I'm not the best with deadlifts. I don't like deadlifts. I don't like squats. Those are honestly the hardest exercises for me to do. My form and them are really bad. I messed up my back really bad one time doing deadlifts a couple years ago. I was trying to do three plates and it was way too much for me at the time. Now I've gotten a lot stronger. I'm starting to practice them more. If you guys could see, I'm trying to just bend over and go back up. I'm really just trying to get the blood flowing in my body, like I said a little bit earlier, but now I'm doing it with the deadlifts and we're trying to go heavier on them. And we supersetted these deadlifts with some, I want to say, I'd say that these are like reverse lat pull downs. I don't know. I mean, that's the best way I could phrase it. Basically, we sit down in a regular normal pull down and we go to the side with it. This is a really good exercise. Very popular in the gym that I go to too. So we did the first set with the deadlifts. I think we did 15 or 20 reps. And then on this, we also did, I think 15 or 20 reps. I can't really remember. You guys can keep track if you really want to. But first set, you really just want to get your blood flowing, get the muscles going. And as you guys can see, we're doing it with a plate and a quarter on each side. So that's just like our warm up, and then we're really gonna start getting into the heavier workout. And you guys are gonna see, look at Mo in the background, he's like doing some freaking what's up sign or some peace sign or something. I don't know, but. I'm feeling really good today. I've been eating on a really good diet. I've been feeling really clean when I've been working out, and I, I just felt really confident in this workout. You guys are going to see. Now we went up to two plates. I think the count was 12 or 15. I can't remember. I'm I actually I'm talking about this a couple of days after I did this workout, so I can't remember exactly, but I would love to see myself bend my knees down a little bit more. I know it's not too necessary at a lower weight, but you always want to be practicing good form, and I know I'm not practicing what I'm preaching to you guys. I hope you guys could take something from me. Look at my mistakes and look at my form and try to work on off of it and try to do a little bit better than me. There's always going to be somebody better than you out there. Even if you guys look at me as some sort of an inspiration, which I appreciate, there's always guys that are going to be better than me. And then the guys that are better than me, there's going to be guys that are better than them. So always try to work your hardest and just learn from other people. That's what got me started with the gym when I first started. I didn't know anything. I still don't know a lot of things, but I would just watch the people around me and I would try to take things from them. And I also use a lot of Google and that's really what got me started in the gym. Cause you guys know I was insecure. I was quiet. I was shy, but I was very determined to have a good physique and I was very determined to make some gains in the gym. And, and it's like my favorite thing in the entire world now. And I'm rocking the gym shark hoodie with the gym shark pants and the Nike air max is my favorite. You probably shouldn't be air maxing in deadlift by the way. But uh, here we go, guys. This is what I pulled my back on a long time ago. And I stick my tongue out when it gets real. You guys are going to see I've been banging this out. For some of you guys, three plates might be nothing. For me, three plates is a lot of freaking weight. That's 315 pounds. The only reason I stopped, I think this was the last one. I think I got six or five. The only reason I stopped is because I lost the grip in my left hand. So if you guys want, when you do deadlifts, you can get some sort of a chalk or you can get some sort of like a wristband or something that goes around your wrist. They help a lot. Or hooks, those help a lot when you're doing deadlifts. It helps you hold the grip so you can get more reps out. I think I could have got at least another two, if not four reps on that. But since my grip let out, I couldn't get any more. I personally don't like using anything when I work out. I just like to go into the gym. I drink pre-workout on my protein after, but I just like going in there bare bones. I don't like having any grips on me. I don't like having any extra accessories. That's just me. That's just how I am. That's the way I work. And then we went up in the weight on the pull downs again. So we superseted our deadlifts with pull downs and we were shot. I was wearing this tight, like 
kind of like a micro fleece hoodie I would say this is so the material is making me sweat like crazy it felt really good I love getting a good sweat when I'm working out it makes me know that I'm doing something right and now we're moving on to a little bit of like a, a rear delt exercise and this exercise is a killer guys okay you want to take the two cables put them up at a length around the size of your head a little bit higher than your shoulders grab both of them so if you're gonna be grabbing the left cable on my side grab it with your right arm and then vice versa grab the right cable with your left arm and kind of make an X in the middle and squeeze back and really get that squeeze in your lap. You want to get the contraction as you go all the way back. We superseded that rear delts with another pull down of rear delts. This is a really popular machine. I love doing this machine. You could even superset by just doing a pull down behind the neck and then a pull down in the front to get your lats. You go straight from your lats to your rear delts, lats to rear delts. On this workout, we really focus more on the deadlifts, a little bit of the lats as you guys saw at the superset, and then straight up to the rear delts. We didn't really do many other exercises in this. Like I said, this was a different back workout for us, and it's nice to change it up sometimes because when you're working out, you've been working out for four or five years, maybe even 10 years, or even a couple of months, you're going to get used to the same workouts that you're doing. So it's always important to change it up. It's always important to throw your body a curveball. And that's what we did today because I've never done a workout like this. I've done these exercises, just not in this exact order that I'm doing them right now. And as you guys can see, I was getting so frustrated because I was so tired by the end of this workout. So I think we did two or three sets on this of just rear pull downs. And we love doing supersets because supersets really get your blood flowing and get your blood sweating. And we don't like to have too much rest in between. I'd say if you go any more than a minute in between sets, it's bad. So you, you want to keep yourself to 30 seconds to a minute in between your supersets. So if we did this cable, I would just walk straight over to the other side of the gym and do my pull down and get straight into the workout and go right away. Then I'd wait maybe 30 seconds before I did this exercise again. And now we're getting so heavy with this weight. You guys might not be able to see it, but I, there you go. I am struggling. I am doing some sort of a ballerina twirl because of the weight. It has been so much. This is the last set we did for the rear pull downs and this is one of my strongest machines and I feel really confident and comfortable doing this. I think I could do a lot more weight than what I was doing, but we're doing a lot of reps of the same. Look at this fool Shane, man. He thinks he thinks he's the real gym shark. I'm the real gym shark, man. And then we actually Finished off with a quick pull down. This is just like an explosive type workout. You're going to feel this a little bit in your rear delts, but mostly in the side of your lats. You see how I'm twisting as I'm going down. We sit on the ground, put your knees down. I don't want to sound any, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm putting my knees on the ground. I'm pulling down and I'm just trying to just get a good squeeze. We did this for like 25 or 30 reps, I want to say. It's a really good way of burning out after a back workout. I've been doing this for a really long time and this is one of my favorite things to do for back as well. You guys can obviously do the main, the main things like a dumbbell pullback or, or like any machine you see for back all of them work this is just what we decided to do for the day change it up a little bit and i hope you guys can get some insight from this and then we of course finish off with some more lower back we just took a 25 pound plate i think we did three sets for 15 but i'm only going to show this one set here so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this back workout if you guys want to see more workouts please smash the like button on the video and comment down below what you guys want to see thank you guys so much for watching it's been your boy doug sensor martin and i'm out guys peace